Good morning. Everybody wanted me to speak on this, so I'm going to speak on it. Like I said here at Enlightenment and Reality Check TV, we're going to speak on it when it get bought to us. Okay, Mr. Chad Wheeler. Everybody wants to speak on it. Okay, I observed the interview of his ex-female speaking, and she said that he did some things to her. Then he goes to court, and he pleads uh, not guilty. All right, I'm going to speak on it. The truth is, if it would have been a black man that did that to a white woman, he would have been locked up. It wouldn't have been no trial right away. It wouldn't have been no prolong or anything. He would have been in prison right now for what he would have did if it was a switch situation. You know, you know, black man beat a white woman like that. You know, looking at the pictures of this young lady. Um, five nine. I think they said one forty five, and he's six seven, like three ten, three fifteen. And she said that he wanted her to bow down to him. Let's call it like what it is. A lot of these white men, they go and get these black women only to have them as a house slave in their house. Let's keep it a book. Um, they just feel like that would give them a sense of protection or make them look cool if they got a black woman. By their side, me and my racist. No, I love all people. I love all walks of life. People just keep it a book in terms of how he beat that lady. He wouldn't have tried that with a black man. Now they do that because they know that the women are not strong enough to physically uh, battle with them. Now, I don't agree with that at all, especially, uh, someone um physically whooping a woman um we have to learn to protect our woman because it's monsters that's out there that do things like that and then they end up getting whatever time or have to go and fight something but clearly you can look at the situation and see that that man physically abused that woman now again i've seen several cases like that to where you know a person beats up uh Anyone, they don't have to be color. And then they go and when the police show up, they say that they sorry. And then people want to try to diagnose them with physical and mental abuse and, oh, they could have problems. No, they didn't have a problem when they was putting that, putting their hands on that individual. Uh, I don't believe in domestic, uh, violence. Um, we have to learn to protect our woman because I believe that if the shoe was on the other foot, that black man would have been in prison and he would have been having to stand trial and then he would have been having to serve time until they call upon him to come to court. Now, that's my input on it. Again, I'm going to address it uh, here at Enlightenment and Reality Check TV and speak on it. Like I said what I said and I meant what I said meant.